First this evening, criminals easily taking control of a business with just a few clicks of a button on our state's online business directory. Good evening, I'm Dave Wagner. And I'm Carolina Lead. It is called business identity theft and is creating chaos for owners. Russ Lundur and his wife left New York for paradise, quitting their job, selling their home to live here in sunny Florida. His dream, owning a lucrative boat towing company. So they did just that, oh buying a waterfront home in Apollo Beach and opening Cross Bay Marine. On the SunBiz pro yeah. profile, was my, I was the incorporator and the president of the company, and I owned all the shares. That's when he says their nightmare began. After months of hard work, someone hijacked his company. They went on SunBiz, and they filed an annual report, which anyone can do, mm -hmm. whether they're associated with the business or not. And in that annual report, they removed me uh, as an officer of the company and installed themselves, effectively making me no longer a part of the company. And there was little he could do. Two boats, one truck, and his ability to operate his business, gone. Just like that. And then they went down and uh, secured duplicate titles for the assets and transferred the titles out of the company name into the new company name. So he called law enforcement. And here's the worst part. If an infraction occurs, you will not get the attention of law enforcement. I tried Hillsborough County Sheriff, Tampa Police Department, the FBI, Florida Department of Law Enforcement. I wrote to the governor's office. I wrote to all of my state representatives. And I either got conciliatory answers like, oh, we're sorry, that's not what we do. Even the state attorney. So he got legal help and managed to transfer the business back to his name. But the damage was done. When I went to the Department of State website, it said very clearly that filing a false report was a felony. So I looked to them to give me some guidance as to enforcement, and there was none to be had. They said that uh, the Department of State actually said and wrote to me in an email that they accept all documents at face value. So SunBiz is on the honor system. In the state of Florida, the de facto business registry is on the honor system. If that scares you, it should. You see, the Division of Corporations falls under Florida's Department of State. You can easily search a database of companies registered in the Sunshine State. Companies file annual reports on sunbiz.org. Positions can be changed using the online tool. But how frustrating that there's a government record that is so easy to be hijacked. And I started looking into it and did the research along with the Department of State and realized that there was a legislative solution to make our state-run systems a little harder against intrusion. Sarasota State Representative Fiona McFarland stepped in after hearing another local business got hijacked. I thought, well, let me just try this myself. And so I logged on and, and I picked a local restaurant in Sarasota and, um, you know, acted as though I was going to renew their, their or update their company files. And I was one click away from saying, check out, yes, I want the new officer in charge to be Fiona McFarland with my name, my phone number, my address. And I didn't do it. Don't worry, I didn't steal a restaurant. She filed a bill in the Florida House aimed at preventing the misuse of the state's insecure public record keeping system for businesses. It's time to modernize those record keeping systems. It requires the state to use a password protected system or another cybersecurity measure to make sure this can't happen anymore. Governor DeSantis has until May 24th to sign it into law. It would take effect July 1st. It's awful. You work so hard to build a company or to, you know, start your first business and you put something together and then a criminal can just log on and with a couple clicks take it away from you. As for Russ, he can fall back on his longtime career as a physical therapist, but he's fighting for other victims using his website, sunbiztheft.com. Look what happened to me. It's bad. I'm going to recover. I have a lot to fall back on. I'm very fortunate. Other people, maybe not so much. And it's not right. It's not right because the preponderance of businesses that are stolen are stolen from people who don't have the means to fight back.
And just to give you another example of how devastating this can be, a real estate company in Sarasota had millions of dollars stolen. Investigators say a man hijacked their SunBiz profile and took out mortgages on their properties totaling $1.3 million.